Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Infiniti QX60 can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So before we start our hitch installation, we want to point out that if you are going to be installing trailer wiring, it's easier to plug in your connector before installing the hitch. For your four flat connector, you have a pre-existing plug right here, right behind the passenger side rear bumper. Now, all we have to do is remove that cap and plug this in, and when we bring the hitch into place, it blocks that off a little bit, making it a little bit more difficult to gain access to it. So if you are gonna be installing wiring, go ahead and visit our link right here to follow that instructions, and you can do that right now. Now that we have our wiring plugged in, we're gonna continue with our hitch installation. Now on our driver's side, we're going to remove the tow hook located right here. It's held in by two bolts on the bottom and two bolts up on the side of the frame. We're gonna remove those using an 18 millimeter socket. And this will not be reinstalled. Next on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this bracket right here located on the bumper. Now we're gonna start by removing this push pin using a flathead screwdriver, and then we're gonna remove this screw using a 12 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the bracket on the passenger side. Next, we need to modify our bumper to allow our hitch receiver to come into place. Now to do that, we went ahead and already taped off the area we need to cut out right here on the bottom. And to cut that out, we're gonna be using an air saw. So now we're all ready to bring our hitch into position, so let's point out our attachment points on both sides of the vehicle that we'll be using. On our driver's side, we're gonna be using these three weld nuts to attach our hitch, and it's identical on the passenger side. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We'll be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, you'll wanna get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. With our hitch lined up, we're ready to bring all of our hardware in place. For each of our attachment points, our kit comes with a bolt and conical tooth washer that we'll be using to install it. Let's go ahead and put those into place. So now with our hitch in place, we're going to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket and it helps to use a five inch extension. Now with our hitch installed, we're going to reinstall our brackets behind our bumper. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four inches, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 14 and a half inches. 
This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.